in Rumley Marsh at the lovely Rumley Marsh Re Resource Centre. Um, just here with Karen, Edna, we're here with Shannon as well. And just to really highlight what Kent County is doing in terms of digital. Are we ahead of the game? Are we, you know, still in that middle lane or are we in the slow lane and not really jumping onto the bandwagon and making the most from social media? Um, I've got the lovely Shannon here from Romney Marsh Resource Centre. Shannon, what do you think about Romney Marsh? Do you think that businesses are jumping onto social? I think no. Um, I think actually there's two main businesses in the local area that you utilise Facebook and Twitter and that is um, Romney Resource Centre yeah. and Rom Romney Hyde and Church Railway. Yeah. Um, they only seem to be the, the local posts that I see. Really? Businesses should be advertising their services um, more to the local residents because it is such a good platform to be using. To be using yeah. so we, it's, it's interesting. So what do you do at the centre to help people? So I am the employment support lead, so I run um, a couple of uh, contracts within the local area to support people get back into work, predominantly 18, uh, sorry, 15 to 24 year olds. Um, with that we advertise using Facebook, um, which actually gets some young people and their parents contacting us. Yeah, so yeah. And we use um, some of the local for sale groups as well, yeah, yeah. Um, we use some of the free cycle groups, we use um, one for uh, jobs and vacancies with 50 miles to move on me just to advertise our services. It's brilliant, it's perfect. And one tip, if you were to give the people within Romney Marsh you know, a tip to jump on social, what's the first thing that you would say to them from your point of view? I would say follow Romney Resource Centre's Facebook Yay, page. <laughs> follow them. Follow them. Um, see what kind of uh, events that we do have that are aimed at IT and increasing digital inclusion and also the Rumble Marsh Business Centre do host the ZC social media Yay, groups. So, so this is what we're is. here. Yeah. And, um, and that's been a huge insight for, for me and us as an organisation how we can include more people in our reach. Perfect. And Romney Marsh is a great area, you know, come down, if you're not within Romney Marsh, there's lots of events going down, down the centre and it's about really helping collaborate and network together. You know, Karen, her team and Shannon have got an amazing outlet here where you can come along and, and learn more about it. Um, and this is why we've dropped off here because we, sometimes we forget about Romney Marsh, sometimes we forget about the Marsh area and it's about making sure that all of us as different towns work together and collaborate and help each other. So check out the Romney Marsh Resource Centre. I'll put the link in the comments below. I'll also put the link to their Facebook page and their, their Twitter accounts. But um, yeah, so it's our, our, our second stop with the ZC Live Tour and I hope you go and check out Romney Marsh Resource Centre and um, yeah, give them a like. Switch you soon. Bye. Andrews, who you know, I've known for a few years now. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah, and we always love coming to see Paul. Paul's one of our biggest, um, at, you know, he talks about us a lot. And we sponsor the Business Bunker Show, which is an amazing radio show for Kent businesses. And here to talk to Paul about what do you think about digital in Kent? You know, we've just been to Romney Marsh and they said there's still quite a, you know, they're still very much in the slow lane with businesses getting onto social. What do you think? What do you think of a county as a whole? Yeah, it, it, it's it's a county of two halves as they say yeah yeah, yeah. And, you know th there's loads of um people such as yourself that are movers and shakers in the digital world and have been involved since day one in digital really yeah. you know you don't know well enough <laughs> um but but the fact is there's there's a few people about that really are making digital happen yeah, yeah. but there's far too many people that still don't get it yeah, yeah. Uh, and you know so you've got this two this two ways of looking at it there's still a long way to go for a lot of people but there's also a lot happening on the digital front again you know and things like um and ZC Live and stuff like that make a huge difference to yeah. people in the county, which is why so many people come to it. Yeah. Um, but it just shows you how many people are still trying to catch up with where we are with digital. You know, for me, I've run digital businesses for 20 years yeah. now. Uh, we launched our first digital business in 1999. Yeah. Um, and, uh, you know, sometimes you still find yourself having to explain to people what it does. Yeah, yeah. And you think, well, surely you've got it by now. But sometimes they say it's because they haven't got the, uh, the broadband or the band. Yeah, of where they yeah. are and this is coming up a lot from the conversations we're having yeah absolutely i mean 
in the UK in general and Kent specifically because a lot of it's rural, um, you know, for a first world country, our, our infrastructure is appalling. Yeah. It really is appalling. I mean, I, I got a thing today I, at home. I've been struggling with broadband at under a megabyte for years, yeah. and eventually I've been the whole thing and I went YMAX. Yeah, so I've got, okay. yeah, I've got a thing on my chimney. And and BT and a couple of other people contacted me recently. And they went, we can do ultra fast. Um, broadband for you now and I went great what can I get and I went oh eight megabits really? <laughs> yeah you know we're in Scandinavia and, and Japan they're delivering 200 megabits as yeah, a, you know yeah. free because it's so you know simple and, and I think that's holding us back the other big issue that we see um, we've done some surveys with the Federation of Small Business yeah, on this yeah is the skill shortage. Yeah, the, the skills, You know, yeah. the, the, the people with digital skills yeah, because are because companies very are changing so much, aren't they? Absolutely, and yeah. The, the, the yeah. AI and the robotic stuff coming out, yeah. it's going to change. Absolutely, and, and, and the demand is growing all the time, and, and as smaller businesses adopt new technology, they want people to know what they're doing, or yeah. they should, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, you know, there's always been this syndrome. I own a, a web design company yeah, as well. Yeah. And one of the things we found with small businesses in the early days with web design is they get their nephew to do it or, you know, yeah, their yeah, cousin's yeah. friend to yeah. do it because he once did a website. And of course, you've got some really rubbishy websites yeah, that don't yeah. really do very and much. And people do it because they, they, they want the cost. So, and I've been talking yeah. about this this week. And, and Paul's company is Fruitworks, so check mm. them out. But the companies are going to like, I'm not going to name them, but where you build a website and they think it's going to be great, but actually it's damaging. You've just yeah. got to be really careful in Absolutely, terms of yeah. Um, yeah. what you're doing. And, and it's, it's your space. It's like having a shop mm. and, and only half doing it. Remember, it's your yeah. shop window. I, th I think far too many people still don't realise what digital and social media yeah. and the web is really about yeah. you know it is a fundamental part of business yeah. and you really can't scrimp and save on it because it's, it is it is powerful you, you, you know because you do it yeah, yeah. Uh, it's, it's social media it's your business I do it because I use it in my business as a marketing tool yeah, yeah. and it is a really really powerful marketing tool yeah, and make yeah. a lot of money out of it but you've got to do it properly yeah I agree yeah. I agree no it's great so yeah. Paul tell us a little bit about Business Bunker when people what, um, listening yeah um, this is our 10th year now, Yay. we're going 10 years on the Business Monkey Show. Um, we're on live every Tuesday, 1 till 3 o'clock, uh, and you can go to bizradio.co.uk to listen to us live. And also on that website, we have all of our blogs and all that yeah. kind of stuff, but also we have an archive, so you can listen to any old show you yeah. want, all, all of them, all back the 10 years, yeah, yeah. Uh, they're all there, and you can download them as podcasts or you can listen to them again as a stream. And now you've got extra as well. And now we've got the Business Bunker Extra Show presented by the lovely Amanda Flanders. Yeah, yeah. That's on on a Friday at 11 o'clock. Oh. And this Friday at 11, our guest is Richard Bell, because I'm co-hosting it this Yay. week. Um, uh, Richard Bell, who's um, a digital specialist. That's uh, brilliant. Uh, talking about security, cyber Perfect. security. Oh, yeah, because that's yeah. a massive thing as well now. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, so check out Business Bunker and the Business Bunker Extra Show. Uh, look on um, Business Bunker Radio. Bizradio.co.uk. Excellent. And check it out. Listen in engage with the hashtag as well and this is the lovely Paul Andrews really do follow Paul um, Vanilla Web on Twitter um, great guy great advice um, great content that you posted out and yeah speak to you all soon fantastic loving the bus where are you next um, we are now off to Rift Rift we're going to Rift okay, to just over there. Okay, cool. yeah. yeah say hello to Nettie for me yeah we'll say hello to Nettie cool enjoy <laughs> the rest of your tour guys yeah.